Hello, Namaste. It's Ram here. Welcome back uh, to my channel, Yoga Live Pain. So today I'm going to share with you one intermediate uh, class. Uh, it's a blending of uh, three things: uh, uh, strength, uh, stability, and flexibility. So three things all together in one class you will have. So it's about uh, a power uh, flow. So stay with me, and I hope uh, you can follow and enjoy. Okay, let's get started. So, I come here uh, to the sitting position with the legs stretch out forward. Now, come to the boat pose, uh, Nabasan. So, stretching out the legs up, stretch forward, make your back straight, stomach in. Open the chest, now straighten your both arms forward. Make sure in Navasan your feet and your head should be one line. Okay, parallel. Feel the, the vibration effect at the abdominal region. But make sure your spine is straight, stomach in and look front. Breathe. And exhale fully and hold nice and tight. One more time. Again, extend your legs forward up and stretch your both arms forward. So just warm up, strengthen your core, core muscles, and engage it and breathe. And exhale. So lower down here. One more time. This is uh, lying down. Both pose one more time. Feel the vibration here. And fold it. Now fold your arms as well, lock the fingers, hold your head from behind. Now we'll go for crossing, means see the front chest, the crossing. Exhale, as you exhale, twist and touch, twist and touch, keep going quickly. Stomach in, head up, and keep going like this. Feel the pressure at the stomach. And we'll come up for the bridge falls to make your muscles stress after contraction. Doing some full workout, your body needs to be stressed, the muscles need to be stressed. And slowly release, and lower down. Now fold the legs from outside the knees and rock forward. Come to down down here. Head down, the force down dog in the class. So focus on the, the posters and make it uh, more perfect. It's all you have to lower down the head as much as you can. Open up the armpit, feel the muscles of the shoulders here. And guess the core, the tailbone is out loosen your hair neck muscles now take your right leg off all the way up towards the ceiling exhale bring it forward inhale whatever you want exhale go down Come to plank, 
Close down. Upper booster position. Slide forward. Up the Rest. Head down. Down. Inhale. Left leg up. Exhale. Forward. Inhale. Come up. Exhale. Go down. Take a little bit back. Come to front. Go down. Upper booster position. Up the Exhale down up. Breathe one more time. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, go down. Take your left leg back. We say another foot. Go Come forward and go down. Inhale and exhale. Breathe. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale forward. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, go down. Take left leg back. Come to flat. Go down, upper pusher position. Inhale, come up, up here. And exhale, down, down. Five big breaths here. Slow and long, deep. Breath in and out here. After this, now your body should be warmed up for the more challenging postures. Now, we start the floor, take the right leg off, all the way up, hold the same. Exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, take your both arms up, come to high lunge. So, lift your leg heel up, toes are talking low down the hips. With the shoulders and hips in our line. Open the chest forward, stomach in, and look front, breathe. Now as you exhale, turn twist to the right side, bring your left elbow outside of the right knee. Okay, over the right knee, join the palms. Right elbow up toward the ceiling. Stomach in, open up the chest. Twist. Look up, feel the twisting. At the same time, just rotate your shoulders, your right upper shoulders moving back. So that you can feel the maximum twisting. And lower down, release. Take your right leg back. Come to flank. Go down here. Inhale. Up up. Exhale. Down up. On the second side, take your left leg up. Inhale. Exhale forward. Now come to high lunge here, right heel up, lower down the hips here, bring down, open the chest, stomach in, straighten your arms, little loose, relax, and breathe. Now exhale, go down to the left side here, now bring the right. Elbow outside of the left knee, join the palms. Left elbow up, open the stomach, knee. Twist the upper body. Right toes are talking to the floor, right heel up all the way. Stomach in. And look up, breathe. And low down. Exhale, take your left leg back. Now come to flat, low down here. Inhale, come up, look up. And exhale, down down one more time here. And breathe. Now the second time, take your right leg off. Exhale, 
to go Then I'll take the both arms up here. And this time I'll lower down. And drop your left knee on the floor, left foot flat. Now as you exhale again, twist to the right side. Now this time, your left hand down outside of the right foot here. If you feel it's so challenging, you can join the palms, for example, option. Otherwise, you will try to straighten the arms here and look up. And breathe. If you are more stronger, challenging person, you may just fold your left hand here and bring it inside the right knee and take your right hand back. Wrap on your back now. Lock the fingers. Open up the chest and look up. Feel the twisting maximum. Now here we will go for one more challenging, powerful postures. Twisting. So both hands are outside of the right foot here. So maintain the gap in between the both hands, the shoulder wide the apart here. Now make sure when you're going down, leaning down towards the floor at the same time you're lifting your hips and make sure you ride high over the left elbow like this for are stronger they will be stripping it up otherwise we stay here and breathe slowly come back Now take your right leg all the way up again. Fold it to the left side. Flip over to the left side and lower down your right foot. Come to wild thing here. Go down and breathe. Open up the chest, stomach in. You're rotating your left palm and left wrist. Inhale, slowly come back. Bring back your right hand down to the floor and take your right leg, your right knee in between the both hands. Now fold your left leg here, fold to the ankle and take your right arm up, lock the fingers, look up. Make sure you. this big pigeon pose should be in one. Your knees should be aligned, shoulders in align with the, the knees. Open the chest, stomach in, elbow right, elbow facing up towards the ceiling, and left elbow facing down towards the floor. And look up in the same line with the right elbow. Left keep slightly moving down towards the floor here. Stomach in. And exhale down. Both hands forward or sideways, it's okay. Great. Feel the pressure at the rise of the hips or hips little. Inhale slowly come up. Lift your hips up, take your right leg back. So come to plant here, go down, up down, next, and down. Now. now we repeat, stay on the second side. So take your left leg on the walk, exhale forward, inhale, take your arms up. Now lower down, drop your right knee on the floor here, right to flat. Now turn twist to the left side. Now bring your right hand outside of the left foot. Otherwise, if you may feel uh, challenging, then you can join the palms. Okay, you have options. You can choose either left or not. And if you are more stronger, you can take a you can wrap your left hand on your back and fold your right hand under the left knee here and lock the fingers. Or you may 
if you have a strap or uh, the clothes, you can use it to, for more uh, easy options, okay? Now we'll go for the balancing and uh, strengthening power proportions. So folding your both hands and lower down the head and lift your hips up and go down here. So we come back here and go back to the Mountain makes it down the position here. Now take your left leg all the way up. Fold it down towards the right side. Flip over to the right side here. And lift your hips all the way up. Wide thing. If it's possible, you may throw the floor with your left hand here. Stomach in. Chest lift, lifting up. Stomach up. And slowly come back. Turn to the left side here and take a left leg, left knee in between the both hands. Lower down. Now turning to the right side here, fold the right, right leg here, lock from the uh, ankle, take your left arm off and interlace the fingers here. Make sure your knees and your shoulders should go on line. Stomach in. Do not lean forward or outside. Look up. Breathe. Next, then go down. Slowly come up. Take a look like back. Come to a mountain pose or down the whatever you like to call it. Come to front. Lower down. Inhale. Come up. Legs. And down. Breathe. In each round, you need to breathe and balance and feel the effect, the consequence for each and every round so that you can go further, you will be self motivated. Take your right leg all the way up, we'll go for the next round, the more stronger. So take your right leg forward here. Inhale, come up. And exhale, now join the palms in front of the chest, the prayer position, and come forward. Take your left leg back, make your hips in one line, strengthen your right standing leg here, stomach in, and the front. Breathe. Exhale, go down. Head down all the way down. Take your left leg off as much as you can. And breathe. 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 Now drop the left leg on the floor here. Okay. Now bring your left hand inside the right foot, left heel on the floor. A strong left hand, left arm, because the whole body weight on the left hand with the support of the slightly supported with your left leg. So now strengthening your left arm. Now lift your holding the right victor, lift your right leg up and fold it. Folding your right leg, hold the right ankle and pull it back if it's possible try to look up 
it's really challenging postures. It's a stretching and uh, bending and strengthening the three things in one posture. And slowly come back with control. Now drop that left knee on the floor here. Now turn into the left side, fold the left leg, lower down the hips. Each option you may just place your right elbow on the right knee. Or if you are more stronger, then you can take your right arm off over the head, then lock the fingers. Hips is going down, stomach in, look up and breathe. Hips is sinking down, the stomach in, open the chest. Feel the pressure at the hips, and slowly lower down. Both hands forward, straighten the right leg, toes are facing towards you here. And slowly lower down, let's see the hips is going down at the same time we are stretching forward. Now the front split, if you feel it's challenging and if you are not flexible enough to do this, you may use the block under the hip here. Come to the Hanumanas on the split. Join the palms and look up. The toes are facing up and left foot flat on the floor. Open the chest forward. Look up. Next, can go down. And breathe. When you hold in a posture, uh, feel uh, the muscles, uh, how it functions, how it reacts to the body. Just try to experience And slowly come back. Bring your both hands and lift your hips up. Take a little like that here. Come up. Go down here. Again, vinyasa. Up, up. Exhale, down, down. The second side here. Now, left leg up here. Exhale, forward. Inhale, pick your both hands up here. Now bring your both hands in front of the chest in a prayer position. Now shifting your whole body weight to the left foot and come up. Right leg move back, look front, hips in one line, low down right, hips slightly down towards the floor. So that the hips will be online. Open the chest here, stomach in, and feel the whole body weight on the left leg. So make it strong. Exhale, go down here. If it's possible, try to touch your own knee or sin bone with your nose. At the same time, we are stretching. Kicking up toward the ceiling with the right leg. And breathe. Feel the pressure, intense pressure at the left leg, whole left leg. It will strengthen you, make you more stronger, stable, and flexible as well. A slowly look down your right leg. Now, if you're turning your right foot down, you'll see your left side of the foot on the floor here. Now, turning to the right side, hold the left big toe with the left hand. Now, so, make it strong your right arm here and keep lifting up. Okay, now fold it and hold the ankle from outside here and pull it back. Make it more stronger so. Keep lifting up, it's, if it's possible, try to look up. I'll try to stay here. That's okay. That's slowly bring it forward. It's control. Drop the right knee. 
We lower down the hips. You have option just uh, holding the right ankle from inside. Just put your left hand on the left knee. Or if you are more challenging, you can just lock the fingers here. Okay, hips is go down, open the chest, stomach in and look up here, breathe. And slowly come back, straighten the left leg here. Both hands forward, lower down your head. But next to your hips and your right knee should be in one line, a line vertical. Feel the pressure of the left hamstrings, especially the calf muscles. Slowly come up, at the same time just uh, stretch your left leg forward. You have option if you feel it is more challenging, you can uh, put your uh, the block under the left hip here. Okay, and come to the Lord's Hanumanasan, join the palms in prayer position, look up and breathe. And exhale. Low down, lean forward, your head on the sin bone, and breathe. Feel the pressure, feel the, the muscles of the hamstring muscles, hips. And slowly come back, release. Take the left leg back here, come back to downward position and slowly look at Vinyasa, inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Now drop the knees. Slowly come up. Staying here, just drop the elbows on the floor. And if you want, you can go forward and fold the both hands. Fold from the elbows. Breathe. Relax. Slowly come up, bring your both hands down to the floor. So holding from the ankles, come up, go to the child pose. Now one more time, here. Toes are tucking, the hips on the heels, okay. Now bring your both hands behind, palm facing outside. So without lifting your hips, just open up the chest, lower down your head, back, shoulders moving back, stomach in and stay here, breathe. If you want more stronger, then you can drop the elbows here, just a bit flat. <clears throat> just lift your head up, lower down your head, crown of the head on the floor, open up the chest, join the palms in front of the chest, and breathe. 
and slowly release. In the same way, you need to come back the way you went to that first set. So then we will come forward, go down here. <clears throat> So uh, maintain a gap of six feet apart in between the feet and knees. Okay. Now drop your forehead. Means here the crown of the head on the floor once again here. And lift your hips up. Take your both hands up. Straight it. Hips up. Stomach in. Feel the pressure at the shoulders and your head. and bring back your both hands down to the floor. So maintain a gap of uh, six inches apart in between the both hands. Okay, now bring your right knee to the right elbow and then left knee to the left elbow, okay? Strengthen your arms. Take your right leg up and left leg up. Uh, supported it standing here. Relax, breathe. And slowly come back. And lock the fingers and stretch. One more time, the child pose, relax for a while here. to downward position. This person really frequently jumped by all us all the time because this is one of the best posture to make you comfortable, relaxed. Take the right leg on you up. Exhale forward. Inhale, take your arms up. Now this time lock the fingers here. Or the index finger pointing out. Look up. So make sure you both legs straight. Hips and shoulders with no line. Stomach in, open the chest and just pass back. And slowly as you Come forward, sitting your whole body weight to the right foot here. Your both hands and your head should be online and stretch forward. Now what you doing? Slowly come back. Come to standing one. So bring your, both, your right hand to the right waist. Hold the left big toe with the left hand here. Okay. Now straighten it forward. And slowly to the left side here. Look to the right hand side. Now folding your left leg, bring your left foot to the right thigh here. Okay, now fold your right leg, lower down your hips slightly. And bring your left hand down to the floor. And take your right hand up, look up. The twisting and balancing as well. So, two things in one postures. You may, if you feel it's more challenging, you can join the palms in prayer position and hold. Now, here we are gonna uh, do one more challenging posture. So, make sure you in this position your left foot and your right thigh in order on the left elbow okay just maintain the gap in between the palms the shoulder wide that part are slightly more than that it's okay okay so 
same here now moving your shoulders down at the same time lift your hips up here and breathe and release slowly come back come to stand up slowly lower down here up down and down up When you do these postures, uh, your body is getting twisted, so the, the maximum of sweating comes out from the skin. It's a good thing to make your body detoxified. It is really helpful. Now on the second side, let, you can let leg up. Exhale forward. Bring your both arms up, lock the fingers here, and arms back. Open the chest, stomach in, and bring back. Now the exhale. Come forward, sitting your whole body over to the left foot. Extend your right leg back and extend your both arms forward. Index finger pointing forward. The both hands, your head should be on line. Lock the left knee. Stomach in. Hold. Warrior three. So we'll come back as we inhale. Hold up. Victor with the right hand here and extend forward. Slowly take it to the right side and look to the left side. Now fold the right leg, bring it to the left thigh. Okay, can you see? So your right foot on the left thigh, okay? Now turning to the left side, bring your right hand down to the floor outside of the left foot and left arm up. You have easy option, then you can join the palms. So you can choose either options, okay? It's a twisting and a balancing, so you need to control your body, otherwise you may collapse. Now slowly go down. Again, maintain the gap of the shoulders wide apart here. Now lower down your head, your shoulders at the same time you're lifting your hips up. Okay, the control, lift your left leg up here. And breathe. Slowly release. Come back to down right here. Slowly up to supposition. Up your X held down the one more time. Relax for hold here. Close your eyes. Slowly come back to the sitting position here and go down. Here we go for one process uh, back bending. It's actually a variation of full uh, pose and suppression. So fold the legs here, move closer to your hips. Bring your both hands to the shoulders, fingers pointing out inside here. Okay. Now lift your hips up, head down. Bring your both elbows down to the floor here. Now keep lifting your chest up more and more. At the same time, if it's possible, you can straighten your legs. Otherwise, you may fold it and stay here. Feel the pressure at the whole upper body, the shoulders, the chest, 
and some act at the same time feel the contraction at the whole back side of the body and breathe if you are more stronger then you can lift your one leg up and breathe hold sense and go down so you go down your head and the whole back on the floor up from the knees here the interlace of the fingers Close your eyes, relax the whole. As I already told you and keep saying one thing that uh, your body needs to be relaxed needs to be come back to your neutral position so each and every postures uh, need to be followed by its counter force as well as uh, a relaxing postures now slowly come back <coughs> in a sitting position here Just, uh, I'm turning to the side so that you can see me. So, feet apart, the side split. Okay. So, lock the fingers here. I'm facing up and stretch your whole upper body. Breathe. The stretching, feel the rib case, the muscles. Now, the next step go down to the <coughs> right side here. Bring your right hand down to the floor and holding the right foot with the left hand. Open the chest and look up. Stay here and breathe and feel the stretch. Keep breathing and at the same time feel the stretch in the muscles. Now slowly inhale, come up to the center here. One more time, stretch. And exhale, go down to the left side here to look up. Slowly come back to center. Now one more time, lock the fingers and stretch up. And exhale, bring back to the floor. Now again I'm turning to the side so that you can see. So once again, apart sideways, take your both hands back. The fingers pointing outside means it back. So <clears throat> now as you inhale, lift your hips up. Okay, keep lifting your hips up more and more higher here. Open the chest, stomach in and look back. Breathe. Feel the pressure at the shoulders. And exhale, go down. And take your both hands forward. Lower down. If it's possible, you may. Drop your forehead on the floor, if you are more flexible and then you can put your, your stomach, your chest and chin on the floor. So depending on the flexibility, you are going down more and more as much as you can. At the same time, feel the stress at the hamstrings. 
and a presser at the lower back, the lumbar region. Inhale, slowly come back. Now stretch your legs forward here, put together, and set. Now here, just uh, fold your leg, bring your left foot under underneath your right hip here. Likewise, fold your right leg here and uh, bring your right foot to the outside outside of the left hip. Okay, so make the knees in one line here and breathe. Stay here, breathe. It's one of the best relaxing position. So relax for a while. Let's change the side, change the like the change the position. Make sure your knees should be aligned, means one over another. Okay, bring your both hands on the left knee here with the long fingers. And breathe. Okay, the close your eyes. Relax. Stretch up the legs forward once again and come back to the lying down position, the supine position one more time. Take the right leg off, both hands up, stretch. Feel the bristles at your the hamstring muscles and your lower back. Especially the lumbar region here. And your breathing. And fold it, your right foot on the left thigh here. Okay. Now hold the right knee with the left hand and turn. Pull it down to the left side. Drop the right knee on the floor. Twist at the same time. Extend your right hand to the right side and feel the twisting. Stomach in, open the chest and twist. Breathe. Slowly come back, change, switch the side, switch the leg here. Now lift your left leg off, pull the ankles and the both hands here. Feel the pressure at the left side of the hips, the muscles. Now fold it, bring your left foot over the right thigh. Now hold the left knee with the right hand and pull it down to the right side. At the same time, extend your left hand to the left side here. Okay, palm facing up or down, it's okay. That will not say a big issue, but your shoulders should be on the floor. Stomach in, open the chest. And feel the twisting at the lower body, especially through the whole upper body, along with the lower body, is twisting. 
but uh, the lower part is uh, maximum twisting up to uh, the lower abdomen. And slowly release, do that, flex the ground. One more time, fold the legs, holding nice and tight from the seam bone here. And just roll your body side to side. And feel the muscles at the back. And relax. The feet apart. Both hands sideways, palm facing up. Close your eyes. Relax. Relax your whole body. Make sure your spine should be straight with the alignment with your neck and your head. Check yourself that you are inhaling and exhaling through the nostrils and uh, into the stomach, not from the chest. You need to breathe a complete round, like when you are inhaling. The belly is getting expanded and when you are exhaling it is uh, contracted. So become aware of this uh, breathing process. Keep breathing in and out for a while. At the same time Relax your whole body. Here, if you have some time, more time, then you can uh, relax up to seven minutes, okay, five to seven minutes, so depends on you. And uh, here we end uh, the relaxation, so bring your feet together, take your arms over your head, lock the fingers, and palm facing up, stretch your whole body, whole spine. Keep stretching at the same time, and keep breathing. Feel as if you're getting taller, longer. Fold your left leg and turn to the right side here. Bring your left knee down to the floor. Fold your right hand, bring your head, right side of the head on the right shoulder. Bring your left hand to the left hip. Stay here for a while. It's a relaxing posture. Mostly we, when you are in bed, uh, we, sometimes uh, we lie down like this to relax. Uh, also, people say it's also very good for a child uh, sleeping position. Now the support of the left hand here, put the left hand on the floor, lift your whole upper body. Come back to sitting position. Uh, sit in cross leg position once again. Bring your both hands uh, in prayer position. We'll go for one. 
a breathing technique uh, okay now as you inhale just uh, just separate the both hands at the same time lift your uh, shoulders opening the chest and lean back slightly with your closed eyes you can practice so that you can heal the effect and as you exhale squeeze the stomach contract your chest bring your both hands to the square position inhale slowly bring your both hands sideways elbows facing outside open the chest exhale stomach in squeeze it and bring it forward join the palms inhale come up bring back open the chest exhale stomach in and come forward one more time inhale feel the lungs with a maximum oxygen exhale just empty empty the lungs and release bring back the both hands on the knees with the mudra still we are in closed eyes and take two more big breaths here So here we will end this session with the three Om Santin. So inhale deeply. Vibration of the own sentient throughout your body. It migrates to each and every cells of the body. It has a great power. It will empower your whole body, especially your brain cells. It activates the dead cells. Slowly bring your palms together in prayer position once again and uh, gently open your eyes. Namaste. How are you feeling? Uh, I hope and wish uh, you are feeling well and be uh, practicing later on and uh, be healthy uh, with your family and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Bye-bye.